Regarding Art by Nazim Hikmet Ran. Sometimes I, too, tell the ahs of my heart, one by one, like the blood-red beads of a ruby rosary strung on strands of golden hair. But my poetry's muse takes to the air, on wings made of steel, like the eye beams of my suspension bridges. I don't pretend the nightingale's lament to the rose isn't easy on the ears, but the language that really speaks to me are Beethoven's sonatas played on copper, iron, wood, bone, and catgut. You can have galloping off in a cloud of dust. Me, I wouldn't trade for the purest red Arabian steed, the sixth mile per hour of my iron horse running on iron tracks. Sometimes my eye is caught like a big dumb fly by the masterly spider webs in the corners of my room. But I really look up to the 77 story reinforced concrete mountains my blue shirted builders create. Were I to meet the male beauty, young Adonis, god of Byblos, on a bridge, I'd probably never notice, but I can't help staring into my philosopher's glassy eyes, or my fireman's square face, red as a sweating sun. Though I can smoke third-class cigarettes filled on my electric workbenches, I can't roll tobacco, even the finest, in paper by hand and smoke it. I didn't, wouldn't, trade my wife dressed in her leather cap and jacket for Eve's nakedness. Maybe I don't have a poetic soul. What can I do when I love my own children more than Mother Nature's?